Hello everybody, Wannabe Reviewer here, and welcome back to my recording studio slash nerd den slash where the magic happens. If where the magic happens, I mean the place where I come to cry and then push out mediocre videos. Yay! Now you might be wondering what we're doing back at the recording den if it isn't, you know, time for a Wannabe Reviewer's Freaky Flicks yet. And the answer to that is that today, you know, if this video is going out on time, it should be October 31st. And not only is October 31st, you know, Halloween, but there is also something related to the channel that makes this day significant. And that is that it is the three year anniversary since I created this channel. Sure, I didn't put my first video out until, I don't know, like the first or second week of November, but the day I created the channel and I started putting all this together and deciding that I wanted to make a YouTube, you know, channel persona and stuff was October 31st, 2016. So yeah, what I thought I was going to do, I've had a few people ask for it. So I thought I would celebrate by, you know, showing stuff off in my room, you know, all, all around. And yeah, I'll probably switch between like the... The webcam and my phone so I can show off some stuff you know other side of the room and stuff but yeah I'm just gonna show off my room and stuff in this room and hopefully you guys enjoy it hopefully you know a little bit more of an intimate look I'll try to explain some stuff you know a little bit more about me and that sort of thing hopefully you guys enjoy it and yeah there'll be more at the end but for now you know let's just dive in so you guys can like look at all my crazy nerdy merch and stuff so here we go alrighty guys so at this point I have you know uh, switched over to my phone camera and hopefully the audio on it is good. I know it can vary sometimes on all sorts of stuff But yeah, I switched over so you guys can see more of the room and yeah This is some of the room that you guys don't get to see very often I mean or at all because you know, it's, I've recently barely started showing any like live-action footage But yeah, I'm just kind of going around slowly so you guys can kind of see everything Some stuff I'll explain because some some stuff's kind of weird or whatever but yeah, as you can see, this is like a 360 of the room. So yeah, first, I don't know what I should tackle first. Uh, I guess first I'll kind of record my uh, setup, you know, my recording setup. So sure enough, this is the laptop I use. Uh, you know, here we go. Laptop I use, microphone that I use. Uh, there's the, the, the box for the camera. That I bought recently on the webcam and of course I have like a double like extended uh, screen sort of thing so you know it goes from the laptop to my TV and yeah it just shares one big old desktop so that's pretty cool and as you can see I have the webcam on top of the TV and yeah I have all sorts of cables and stuff over here on top of a Gurren Lagann Yoko Littner figure box which actually I have a figure right here but I'll get back to that in a moment and so yeah, this is kind of the setup I have. I have my computer, I have this little rack from when I used to work at retail, and I'll show off more of the stuff I got from retail when the place closed down. I'll show some more of that off later. But yeah, I got like, this little spinny thing. It's basically holding all the cables and it's holding uh, like the power adapters and stuff. So like that's kind of fun. And yeah, here's you know like my TV. And you know, as you can see, uh, I have uh, that's my hard drive from my old computer. Uh, I have my PS4 and stuff connected over here. And yeah, a copy of Indivisible that I have not gotten around to yet. Because I've just been so busy with the Spooktober stuff. And yeah, you might look kind of dusty. My bad, I forgot to clean. But to be fair, with carpets, you know, I swear even if you clean like every other day, it just keeps getting dusty. So I know it's dusty. My bad. I, I, I swear I'm not a slob. But yeah, that's why it looks kind of dusty. But yeah, like I said, so that's my setup basically. Anytime I'm recording... This is where I do it, you know? I pull up a chair, here's my microphone, here's my computer, here's my uh, TV and stuff, and where, yeah, that's how I record, and I use this setup right here. Uh, above the TV, I just want to show off real quick. As I was saying, above the TV real quick, I just want to show these off, I'm quite proud of them. I have a Zero Suit Samus Perler art, which I think looks really cool, and above that, I have a Yoko Littner Perler art. And they're both pretty big. I mean, if you can tell, I mean, just compare them to like the TV, look at how big these are. They're like a pretty good size. And yeah, in case you're wondering about these holes right here in the wall, basically I used to have a TV that was a bit smaller and it used to be like a mounted TV. 
And this room that I'm in, honestly, it's kind of like an extra room near the back of the house. So it's not, you know, like meant to be like a bedroom or anything. It's meant to be like a storage room. And that's why there is some awkward stuff, like a power box thing. And like the walls aren't that great. So yeah, after I put like a mounted TV there and took it off the wall, you know, you can just see the holes, which is kind of awkward. But, you know, just ignore that. But yeah, as I was saying, I have the Perla R, which I think looks really awesome, and I'm hoping to, in the future, buy more. And, you know, just put it on this wall right here. I think that would be a nice area to put it, you know? Because, like I said, I obviously can't put any, like, posters or anything, because it'll damage the wall. But I think some Perla art with, like, some thumbtacks put up, you know, some clear thumbtacks, if you guys can, can see it. I think that'll, you know, I think that's a pretty good look, or whatever. Uh, going back to this, so yes, uh, this is my Yoko Littner figure that I got a couple of years ago at uh, Comic-Con, and I'm quite proud of it. It's a really nice figure, very detailed and stuff, as you can see. Uh, I love that they have the little, uh, little pig guy at the bottom, little mole pig or whatever. Um, fun fact, when I first got this, I showed it to my friend. It was funny because he's like, oh my god, that is so cool. And he like went straight for like the little mole pig, and he like started touching it and seeing if it come, came off the figure. I thought that was hilarious. But yeah, it's a Yoko Littner figure with a huge gun and stuff. Because, uh, yeah, she's one of my favorite anime characters ever. You know, I just love her design, love her attitude and stuff. I love how she's just like this sniper in a world of mechs and stuff. I just think she's awesome. And uh, yeah, next to her, I of course, I don't know why I even have these. I mean, Hamtaro, I know why. I think Hamtaro's just cool. And I found this at like a, uh, I want to say it was like a thrift store once. And I just thought it was a nice buy for like a dollar. And this, I don't know. I want to say, like, a friend gave me that uh, Care Bear. Yeah, I want to say it's a friend that gave me that Care Bear. And I just, I, I liked it. And I stuck it up there and stuff. So, you know, there you go. And, yeah, if I'm not really showing off that stuff too much, guys, it's going to take some more personal stuff, showing, like, friends and family and everything. So I'm just kind of keeping that more to myself, you know. In case you guys are wondering why I'm not really showing those posters and stuff off. You know, that's why. But, yeah, if we keep going, as you can see... I have this lamp right here and the reason for this lamp is that as i said this room is like not meant to really be like like a room you really use okay because so even though there is like a light source the light if i like were to turn on the light right now it would be like bouncing off of all of the like the the, the, the footprints and stuff like it just you can kind of see how it's bouncing off of like that state of moon one over there yeah like recording in this room with like a light source just isn't that great and so the way I fix that is that the lights are off right now, and I'm using this lamp as a light source. And that works really well, honestly. I think it kind of gets a good amount of light in here for recording. So uh, real quick, just going to open the door slightly and just show off over here. Uh, yeah, over there, there's more gaming and stuff. As you can see, there's a switch and all sorts of other stuff. Of course, I'm not going to show any other parts of the house off because they're dirty, and it's kind of a mess, and I'm kind of embarrassed. But in case you're wondering, like, huh, I thought he owns like, a switch and stuff. I only see a PS4. That's why. It's because the other stuff is in, like, other rooms, you know. But, yeah, of course, you know, here is kind of like a closet area, you know, kind of use it sometimes, I guess, uh, for these uh, freaky flicks that I've been doing. I mean, just to, like, kind of change things up. I've been, gra I've been grabbing random shirts and putting them on. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but, like, in each video, I'm wearing something different. That's why. Uh, of course, up here, you know, got my uh, PS PlayStation VR box. I got my PlayStation Classic box and just some, you know, in general boxes of other random stuff. Uh, those Chipotle boxes, in case you're wondering, back here. Uh, in each one, they're actually some pretty big boxes. In each one, I actually have different systems uh, tucked away, you know, in this little closet area. So I think like, the top one has all of my Nintendo stuff. So I have packed in there, you know, like a uh, uh, Super Nintendo, an N64, a uh, Wii, couple of Game Boys, you know, that sort of thing. They're just packed in that box. Controllers, cables, everything. Then the one after that, I want to say, is like the Sega slash Xbox box. Where I just have, you know, like an Xbox original, Xbox 360. I have a Genesis in there. I have a Dreamcast in there, you know, stuff like that. And then finally, the one at the bottom is my PlayStation box. And that's where I have, you know, my PS1, PS2... Uh, that sort of thing. So, you know, each, each box just has different retro systems. And, yeah, of course, I wish I knew where to hang this up. But, yeah, I have my You Need to Believe in Yourself uh, poster, which whenever I'm feeling down, sometimes I just look at it, and it helps me helps me get motivated, you know? So, there you go. Uh, this little piece of art right here, I guess I'll show it off real quick. 
uh, went out of country to Mexico on vacation with my family at one point, and it was this place where they were just selling all sorts of like little art like this. And for whatever reason, I just thought it was really nice, and I just wanted to, to grab it. Uh, if you look, it's actually like very detailed. It's like made of wood, and it has like a certain texture to it and stuff. And I just really fell in love with the piece. You know, I just think it's really nice. It's supposed to be like a, a tower of like a castle and stuff with a star, a star, a starry sky. Sorry, and I just decided to buy it because I thought it was really nice. So there you go. Uh, over here, if we move on to this part of the room, yeah, I have some candles. You know, I used to like I, I like to light candles for like the smell or whatever so the room doesn't get all you know nasty or whatever i like candles i think they're nice and i have another thing that i took from the place i worked it's basically like a display case sort of thing and right now i don't have too much on it i'm actually looking for like new things to put on there you know i'm always trying to rearrange but i have you know, some princess tutu stuff over here i have like, a little princess tutu print a little princess tutu sticker and right above that you know i got a little pikachu uh phone charger you know you can connect them up to pikachu and you can charge your phone off of it. I have my copy of Rodia the Sky Soldier, which if you've watched my video of it, really proud that I was able to get this game for like three bucks because it's supposed to be really hard to find. And I have a copy of Yggdra, I think that's how you say it, Yggdra Union uh, for the PSP, which I've promised one of my subscribers I'm going to play it. And I still hope to play it one of these days soon, maybe over the holidays. But I've just been so busy and I want to really sit down and like tackle the game, you know? I don't know. I mean, hopefully I get to play it at some point because I feel bad. You know, I just haven't had a chance to play it. Uh, right above that, of course, I have some pretty cool stuff. I have this uh, print of Quiet from Metal Gear Solid Five. Anyone played the game? I really love that character. I think she's really cool. And basically, I found this somewhere on, I want to say it was Etsy, where they print whatever you want onto a dictionary page. So I don't know if you guys can see it, but see, it's like a dictionary page with all sorts of words starting with M, and it has quiet on there. So I just think that's like a really cool look. All right, guys, change the light source real quick. You know, just switch it to this side of the room so you guys can see better. On this side of the room, right next to my, oh, by the way, I guess I didn't point this out. It's a little piggy bank I've had since I'm like eight, I was like eight years old. Same thing, you know, got in a different country, you know, out of town. And I just have really loved it, you know, even though it doesn't have the cork at the bottom to hold the money. I don't really use it as a piggy bank. I just have it as a decoration. But yeah, it's a nice little, you know, thing I've had since I was eight years old. I'm trying to show off the different sides of it, but I think the lighting's not going to let me. But yeah, a little piggy bank. So there you go. Uh, over here, I have my Persona 5 Take Your Heart edition. And I have the little Morgana on top. Yeah, for anyone who like hasn't really, I don't know how you wouldn't know, but as if you spend any time on my channel, you'll know that I love the Persona series. I just think it's a really fun series. Love the aesthetic, love the games, love the gameplay. And so yeah, when Persona 5 was going to come out, this is like, the first time that I could really like buy the game, you know, because when Persona 3 and 4 came out, I wasn't really aware of the series. It wasn't until like maybe like four years before this game came out that I kind of really knew about Persona. And so this was like the first like Persona, like new release, you know? So I was really excited for that. And so yeah, that's the Take Your Heart Edition, which is a pretty big old box. Inside it had a steel book case of the game. It had the Morgana plush. It had like a bag, you know, from like the school or whatever. And I think it had like a little poster. No, it had, it had a CD and like a little poster or something. So that's really cool. And of course, right below that, I have a, uh, trying to get the lighting good. I have a Link figure. I believe it's supposed to be from Twilight Princess, I want to say. And yeah, it's just a really cool Link figure. Got it one time at GameStop. And I decided, decided to stick it here. I think it's like a nice spot for it. And of course, if you see these drawers right here, these drawers, each of them is like a different, like I have different stuff in them, is the, I guess the best way to explain it. Uh, one's going to be a snack drawer. One's going to be a uh, drink drawer, and one's going to be for pins and stuff. So let me just see. Let me switch hands real quick so I can grab my phone in my other hand. All right. So for instance, this is my drink drawer. And basically by that, what I mean, uh, I have all sorts of these little packets. Because, yeah, I've been trying to cut back on, like, soda and that sort of stuff. And, you know, all, like, juices and stuff. I mean, I'm not saying I'm great at it. But I'm trying to cut back. And so instead, you know, I drink these little powdered things that you add to like water and it makes it like have flavor or whatever. And so I just have a drawer full of these. Uh, there's our stuff in here. You know, I have a bunch of napkins because I swear whenever I order Uber Eats, 
they give me like a thousand napkins and I feel like I need somewhere to stick them. And yeah, I have these Pokemon cards from when I went to go see Detective Pikachu. So I have two packs of unopened cards that maybe sometime in the future I'll, I'll sell them. We'll see how that goes. Uh, closing that drawer up and open up the second one. Yeah, this is my snack drawer, which I have Gushers in here. I have, uh, I have licorice. I have both, uh, I have, I have black licorice. I love black licorice. I think I'm like the only person I know that likes it. I have red licorice. I have Gushers. I have those like cream cookie things. You know, I love those. And yeah, usually I try to just keep snacks in that drawer so that whenever, whenever I'm editing or like, you know, have gaming or whatever, I can just open the drawer up and have like a snack, you know? And finally, I have this drawer, which, yeah, this has all sorts of stuff. I mean, I have this cup from when I went to Comic-Con. And basically, this cup, you can get, like, a free refill. I mean, it costs, like, 8 bucks. Hoping to use it next year. Uh, I have all sorts of just random pins and all sorts of stuff, you know. So, I mean, that would take forever to, like, really show off. But, you know, I have all sorts of pins. Uh, there's this YouTuber I like, Rising Superstar, uh, Liam have some merch from him uh back when i used to uh, get the loot loot crate i have a bunch of loot pins i have uh some stuff from game of thrones back when it used to be good i have like my past from when i went to a uh, comic con i have oh, there's all sorts of stuff guys like, like all sorts of pins and stuff in here maybe i'll show off it in our video you know if you guys like pins but i just have so much pins in there and i believe in this bag yeah, I think I, I think this is like the bag that has like the Yu-Gi-Oh cards from when I went to, Pokemon cards and Yu-Gi-Oh cards from when I went to uh, what you call it the Mitsuri Festival. So yeah, that's basically what's in that drawer. Those are the pins and like memorabilia from different uh, you know different events and stuff. So all right, just give me one moment. I need to stand back up so I can show off something else. Hold on. Oh. All right, I'm back on my feet, and I am, of course, showing off this Spider Gwen, like, cardboard cutout that I have in the corner of my room over here. Uh, yeah, I don't know what to say. I mean, the moment I learned about Spider Gwen, I just thought she's such a cool character. I mean, for anyone who doesn't know, basically, you know, in the Spider-Man comics, Gwen Stacy is the first girlfriend of Peter Parker. She dies in a tragic accident where he tries to save her, and she just dies, you know, like her... Her, like, spine breaks or something, if I remember correctly. Her neck breaks. And, yeah, it's really tragic. And it's one of those things where they've never really brought her back. They've tried to, like, keep her dead. To, like, make that death, you know, have impact. And, yeah, it's, like, this series that they created recently that's really cool. Where there's a universe where Gwen Stacy becomes, you know, the spider person. And in her universe, Peter Parker dies. Because he tries to become, you know, like, a superhero. And he becomes the lizard. And basically, he's in all out of control. He's on a rampage. She tries to stop him. And so he dies in her arms. And so it's just this really interesting take where it's a universe where what if, you know, Gwen Stacy became Spider-Man and Peter Parker died. And yeah, Peter Parker basically acts not only as, you know, the tragic death, but he's kind of like the Uncle Ben that kind of teaches her about responsibility. So I think that's really cool, you know? So yeah, I had a chance to get this from a comic shop. It was only like 20 bucks. And so I bought it because I think that Spider Gwen is really cool. So I just have this in the corner of my room. You know, if you look, I just I just love the way it comes together. Uh, right behind Spider Gwen, let me see if I can try to move her out of the way real quick. Uh, behind Spider Gwen, I have this really cool tapestry. I've had it for like a few years now. I just bought it online one day. And it's like this huge tapestry. Uh, it basically shows like all the characters from like Zelda lore. You know, like, you know, you have Link zelda and gandalf at the top you have the sages on top of that on top of that it's supposed to be the three uh you know three deities that made like the zelda world you know and as you scroll down you see more stuff you know you see supporting characters like the fairies and stuff some of the sages as you go farther down you know you have some of the characters from like uh you know uh, what do you call it twilight princess like Ilya and the horse uh you have other characters such as marin and Terran right there uh, if you go farther down, you know, that's supposed to be, like, the little sister and, like, the pirates from Wind Waker. And, yeah, you just keep going down. It has all these characters, like, in a really realistic style, which is really nice. And, yeah, you just keep going farther down, farther down. And it goes from showing, you know, basically, like, like the deities to, like, the supporting characters. 
And as you keep going farther down, you know, here we reach like the sidekicks basically. Like we have, you know, Midna in her true form. We have the King of Red Lions. And then we reach the Masked Salesman. And then we have all like the villains as it like gets darker and darker. And so, yeah, it's kind of cool. You have all the villains and stuff. You have like the Majora's Mask children and you have like the moon. And at the very bottom, you know, you have Ganon. And so I just think it's really cool how it's like this whole tapestry that shows all the characters and has like a lot of like references to different games and stuff. So I just love that, you know. So yeah, I just bought that at some point. I've had it for years. I love it. I think it's like one of like the coolest things I own. I just think it's so detailed, you know, I love it. Uh, switching over here to the side. Uh, what can I say, man? I just have like a bunch of amiibos up here. Uh, a lot of amiibos. I mean, not as much amiibos as a lot of other people, but yeah, all sorts of amiibos. All sorts of little figures, like that Sonic figure. Uh, I have a big old Scorpion from MKX up there. I have a Bioshock lunchbox that I got. I want to say it was like one of the cons. It was like some sort of like a mystery box. Uh, I have a few like model ships. I just think those are really cool. They're like little pirate ships. Uh, for one of them, I even have these in Zimbabwe. What is it? Like billion dollar bill or whatever. Uh, Five billion dollar bill. I mean, those, those aren't worth anything, but I thought that was really fun. I bought it for like a dollar online, so that's pretty cool. And yeah, just going down, you know, I have a Deku figure, a Edward Elric figure. I have the, Pers uh, the Persona 5 protagonist. I have Brawly from the new movie. I have Goku. Uh, I have Spider-Gwen. I have Android 18. I have uh, Gender Bent edward scissorhands i have squirrel girl i have gender bent jason which i think is really cool this one i'm really proud of because that figure was supposed to be like 200 dollars online and i found a listing for like 50 dollars. and even if it's supposed to be like a recreation or like a bootleg i think it looks really good so i'm really proud of that uh, i have lady deadpool i have a little chun li over here and of course behind all of you know these guys right here I just have a, all sorts of PS4 games. All sorts of PS4 games. Uh, then over here I have the Eevee. Uh, Let's go Eevee that came with the Pokeball. Behind these girls right here, I have all of my Switch games. Uh, PS3 games, PS2 games, PS1 games, you know, in the corner right there. And then going further down, I think I might need to, like, I think I might need to change the light source one more time. Give me a minute, guys. All right, yeah, this is kind of a hard spot to record because it's like, in the corner over here. But yeah, you know, I have some Intel 64 games. Uh, I have, you know, DS games, Wii U games, Xbox original games, and 360, all sorts of stuff. I have my, you know, copy of the Legend of Zelda H, uh, Twilight Princess HD, which comes with the Amiibo figure. I have all sorts of figures and stuff over here. I mean, you can you can see for yourself all sorts of, you know, I have, a, I have an Agretzko Vinyl Pop, a King Mickey Vinyl Pop from Kingdom Hearts. I have uh, an Archer you know, getting drunk as he does. I have the uh, great, I have the R-Wing from freaking, what was it called? Starlink. So I have all sorts of stuff, you know, all sorts of stuff. I just have so much crap, guys. You guys have no idea. Shout out to uh, Super Ghidorah. I have his little figure right here, his little, uh, whatchamacallit, uh, leather face sort of little thing that I won. He's right here, he's hanging out on my shelf. And then, yeah, just down here, you know, I have all sorts of comics and books and all sorts of stuff. I have like the Persona art book. I have, you know, a bunch of like just art books for different series and comics and stuff. Uh, I have some of my, like that's my uh, limited, you know, special edition or whatever of the Liar Princess and the Blind Prince. You know, all sorts of books, you know, Stephen King books, all sorts of stuff. I have my little Godzilla right there. Love that little guy. Little cute figure. Uh, I have like a whole bin here of just all sorts of stuffed animals and just different stuff. Uh, yeah. If I pull it out, you know, I have like a stuffed rabbit doll. I have like a Pikachu in here. I have, what else do I got? I'm trying to just dig around real quick. I have a Sylveon because I actually really like Sylveon from Pokemon. All sorts of just stuffed animals in there. That's kind of where I stick them so they have somewhere to live. And yeah, not too much over here. Just all sorts of cables and my freaking sombrero. And uh, that, ba that bag right there, actually, that's an interesting one. I found a bag full of like my childhood toys and so I'm trying to dig through there to see if there's anything that seems like it's worth keeping or selling. Uh, for instance, I already sold a Wilson Fisk from the 1990s Spider-Man cartoon. I actually was able to sell it online for like 10 bucks, which maybe I, I think that's a good deal. You know, just being able to get 10 bucks out of it. 
maybe someone will be that say I'm an 80 and I could sell it for more. But I don't know. I'm just trying to put stuff on eBay and see if I can sell it. Because yeah, I was able to get it for 10 bucks. So yeah, I'm going to see what else is in that bag because I know there's all sorts of cool stuff there. And so yeah, back on my feet, like I said, you know, there's just cables and sombrero and stuff. Right here, that is my old computer that Mickey is sitting on. That's the old computer I used to make videos with, but it died. And yeah, that Mickey, that Mickey uh, stuffed animal, it's actually my little brother's. He said he didn't want it anymore, but I told him, hey, you know, it's a really cool Mickey. I think he might regret getting rid of, getting rid of it. So, you know, uh, once again, when I left retail, uh, yeah, they were going out of business and this was in the basement and technically we were supposed to sell all of like the fixtures and stuff, but I was like, nah, this place owes me for being terrible and being stupid. So I'm taking this home. And so I lugged it up the stairs and yeah, I just dragged it home. And so it's this cool like uh, metal thing that you can stick all these little hooks onto and you can just have stuff on it, you know? It's like a display case sort of thing. So yeah, I have a few Assassin's Creed figures on it. I have like a Tifa figure. I have a regular show figure on here. I have a bunch of, what do you call these? Like keychains and stuff. I have a Princess Tutu one, a Kirby, all sorts of stuff. Uh, I have a medallion from freaking Team Skull from uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon. I just think they're really fun. I have some Kingdom Hearts ones back here. And yeah, I, I like to stick, whenever I go on a vacation or something, instead of sticking magnets on like my fridge, I like to try to stick them up here. So I have one from when I went to like a zoo in California. Uh, this is from when I went to Big Bear Lake in California. And this is when I went to New Mexico. And there was like this place that was like alien themed. You know, I think it was because it's like near Area 51 or whatever. And yeah, it's just alien fresh jerky. So that's really fun. And yeah, I got a little Princess Tutu magnet. I have a little Isabel sticker. I just think Isabel from uh, Animal Crossing. I think she's awesome. And yeah, sitting on top, you guys might have seen it in some of my Freaky Flicks videos. But yeah, it's just a stuffed horse. Call him Bojack. And he is wearing my, whatchamacallit, my bunny hood. And his face is getting attacked by... Uh, an alien, you know, what, what do you call him? Little, little, little head uh, face huggers or whatever. So he's just getting attacked, but you know, he's chill. And yeah, I have another Perler art. This one is a Shantae. And yeah, love Shantae. So I just got that at some point. And let's see, moving over here. I'm trying to move the lamp real quick, guys. Sorry. I'm trying to move the lamp. One minute, one minute. All right, so seeing over here, I of course have my Keyblade. For anyone who knows about Kingdom Hearts, it is a replica of the Oblivion Keyblade. And yeah, I mean, while I'm proud of owning this, at the same time, I feel like kind of an idiot. Basically, when I, one of my first jobs, as soon as I had money, I just was like, I need to get something really cool. And so I went online and a wooden Keyblade wasn't good enough for me. I decided I wanted a metal one. And so I bought this like genuine metal keyblade and it cost me like two hundred dollars so while it's cool at the same time i will admit i am kind of embarrassed because it's like oh my god it's so expensive and like was it worth it all right guys i cut really quick so i could show it off but yes this is what it looks like you know it's just like a big old metal keyblade which is ridiculous you know and oh in case you're wondering when i put it on this is actually a couch uh, just, you know, just a regular futon. That's where I usually sit as I'm addressing, you know, people for my videos or whatever. And yeah, it's just a futon with a cover on it. So yeah, in case you guys have been wondering what I'm sitting on or why it looks like I'm sitting on a weird brown thing, some sort of texture. That's what it was. It's just a, a futon. But yes, this is the Keyblade. Pretty cool. But man, was that like an impulse purchase? But I love it, you know? And yeah, if you want to know where you can buy it, just... DM me or like message me and hopefully I can find the place that sells these in case you're interested, you know But uh, yeah going back over here. That's not the only like weapon thing. I have I also have this like crazy Scimitar sort of weapon that I got at some thrift store once I don't know why they were selling these at these thrift store. But yeah, it's just a scimitar. It's pretty cool I guess I hung it up here uh, and I have the I forget what it's called. It's like the Gunblade or whatever from Final Fantasy VIII. I think that's what it's called. Let me see. I'm going to try to get it down. Let's see if I can put it in front of the camera so you guys can see it a little better. One moment. This is my Gunblade from, yeah, Final Fantasy VIII. And it's pretty cool because it even has, like, you know, all the details on it down to the little, uh, what do you call it? The little charm that's supposed to be, like, the little lion head or whatever. So I think that's really cool. 
But yeah, so I bought that at some point too. Luckily, this wasn't as expensive as the Keyblade. While well, the Keyblade was like in the hundreds, this was easily like 50 bucks or something. I don't know why it was so cheap, but yeah, it was like really cheap. But I'm proud of that, you know? It's just a cool uh, gun blade. And I believe it actually, yeah, it actually shoots or whatever. So that's, that's really cool, you know? And let's see what else do I have. Uh, and then down here, I just have like this little, it's supposed to be like a, it's supposed to be like a uh, old school, like gun, right? But then if you open it, it's actually a knife. So yeah, I don't know. There was like a period where I was all into weapons from like video games and all sorts of crazy stuff. And so I was just buying a bunch of those. But yeah, I kind of quickly grew out of that because there's like no room to put them, you know? I'm not gonna like fill my house with all sorts of random weapons. So even though I would like to buy more, for now, you know, I kind of cooled it down and that's all I own. You know, I just own the Keyblade, the uh, gun blade, that weird scimitar thing, and that old school gun knife thing. So, uh, moving on, over here, not anything too significant. I just have like this old broken down Mario go kart, which it's cool, but it's broken. I have a little ukulele, uh, what do you call it? Uh, yeah, ukulele, right? I have a ukulele in a little case. Unfortunately, it's out of tune. You know, not, I don't really know how to play it, so sorry, not gonna show any, any songs off today. And over here, you know, just some random stuff. I have, like, my Switch box. I have some sort of thing I found from back when I used to get Loot Crate. It has to do with, like, Westworld. And I have my PlayStation Classic just over here. It's unplugged, and it's just over here, so, you know. Uh, moving on over here, though. Man, this is where I just have so many posters. Uh, yeah, at this point, the video's probably really long, but I'm just going to talk about them briefly. Uh, basically, these two down here... They're both from Mr. Creepypasta and friends, I guess you can say. Uh, this one on the right is actually from an event I went to, you know, like uh, earlier this month, you know, where he was going on tour. He was in a few different cities. And when he was in my hometown, I went to go see him. So that's my newest poster having to do with Mr. Creepypasta. And this one, it's actually from Comic-Con two years ago where it was him and a guy named Vince Vinacava and they both signed it, to, they both signed it for me. Fortunately, at this point, all posters are signed by everybody. Uh, you know, since I went to that show, I was able to get Mew, who's the uh, piano guy, and Mr. Creepypasta, and Vince Vinacava, and uh, Creepypasta, who's from England. I was able to get them to all sign the posters. So I have two posters, you know, from different events that are fully signed. So, like, that makes me happy. All of these, all the way to, skip these two, down here, you know, snake around go down here uh, and then jump over here to like these three or whatever. All of those are by an artist called Wiz Yakuza. And Wiz Yakuza, if you go check them out, it's like wizyakuza.org. It's just this artist that I love his artwork. And he just makes all sorts of like, like I guess you can call them almost like photo realistic or I don't know, just like more realistic looking, you know, art. And every time I go to like a convention or like the Matsuri Festival or something, if he's there, I try to pick up some of his art, you know. So I have the one from Soul Eater. I have this from uh, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I have this of Sora from Kingdom Hearts. I have one of Sailor Moon from, you know, Sailor Moon. I have this one of Jin and Mugen from... Uh, Samurai Shampoo. I have this one of Spider-Gwen, uh, I have this one of Team Rocket, which, that's really rare, I've never really seen Team Rocket merch, so that, that's awesome, uh, I have this one of Spike Spiegel from Cowboy Bebop, I have this one that's like a side-by-side -side of Sheik and Zelda, uh, like I said, I'll jump over here real quick, I have this one of Spider-Gwen versus Harley Quinn, uh, I don't know why that they decided to make that, but I think it's pretty cool, you know, so I like that, you know, standoff or whatever. Uh, I have this one of, I am forgetting her name, but if you've watched Kill a Kill, it's the main girl from Kill a Kill, got that going. And let me see, jumping over here, I got All Might, I have Deku, and I have Frog Girl, because Froppy is best girl, so I just have her over here. Uh, jumping back a bit, since I skipped these over, uh, this Undertale and this Gravity Falls, they're done by the same girl. Unfortunately, I don't think she posts stuff online for sale, but her name is Potato Buns. And I love her artwork. I just love how, like, you know, like, the colors are just so bright and, like, warm and stuff. But, yeah, I just love it. You know, Undertale and Gravity Falls. I think that's awesome. And then going this way a little bit, 
yeah, these two are also by a different girl. But yeah, she made, you know, when the game came out, she just made these two things. Uh, one print is of, you know, 2B, and one is of A2. I mean, two, yeah, A2. And I just think they're really cool. I mean, the only shame is that she never made one of 9S to like, complete the collection, but I just think it's really cool, you know? It's like really good detail and stuff, and just black and white. These that I kind of skipped off, that I kind of skipped earlier, from like this one, 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 this one. Uh, they're all made by the, oh, and these two over here, my bad. And these two, right over here. These are all made by the same guy. I forget what his name is. I mean, if I zoom in, you can kind of see like the little name. It says like it's like by Tyreen Carver or something like that. Um, I don't really know how you would find them online. I would like have to look. But same thing, it's just an art artist that even though they're not like as like, you know, photo realistic or whatever as like uh, Wiz Yakuza's, I just also really like his art. And I like that he has a lot of selection. Like, compared to Wiz Yakuza, this guy has like three times as much. And he covers like way more stuff. Because why? while Wiz Yakuza mostly focuses on like anime and video games, like I think it's cool how this guy, you know, he has TV shows, he has anime, he has memes and stuff, and he just does art of them. So I just thought that was really cool. So I, of course, have one of Gurren Lagann. I have one of Fully Cooley. I have this, like, mock, you know, straight out of Compton thing for uh, Rick and Morty. I have a Samus one. I have, a, once again, a Nier one. I have this Uncharted, you know, Thief's End. I think that's really cool. I have this one of Snake Hyena in a Box. I have this one of the Persona 5 cast. This one of the Persona 3, 4, and 5 cast. And this one is actually by a different artist. I don't remember who they are. I think it's one of those things where I just bought from them once. And then I don't think they were ever an, at an event again. But I just think it's cool. It's a little crossover between uh, Kingdom Hearts and The World Ends With You. And I just love the art. You know, I just think it's really cool. I think it's a fun little crossover. Uh, real quick, I have these two posters from Team Four Star. Whenever they've been at Phoenix Comic Con, I like to go track them down. Uh, one of these days, I hope to go to uh, some of their other cons, like in California or Texas, that sort of thing. But for now, the two years I've seen them, you know, it's been in Phoenix Comic Con. And yeah, I just have the poster. Both posters are signed by Kaiser Neku, Lenny Pator, and HBI2K. So that's pretty cool. And then, yeah, I have this poster on the ground. I don't really know where to put it yet, but it's a Cowboy Bebop poster. It's like a big old poster. And I'm just trying to figure out where to stick that, you know. But, uh, yeah. And yeah, like I said, you know, that art's by the same guy. It's the Doki Doki Literature Club thing. It's a BoJack Horseman sort of thing. And this one, once again, I don't know who the artist is. I would have to look it up. But it's this really fun booth where they have all sorts of like mock-up snacks and cereals from different franchises. So I got this one that, you know, it's baking pancakes from like uh, Adventure Time, but I know they have all sorts of other ones for all sorts of other franchises where it's just supposed to be like some sort of like a cereal or like breakfast snack. And then it always says, you know, like, like it's like, you know, has like the nutritional information and it has like a free prize inside. So like, that's really fun, you know? But yeah, guys, that's basically the whole room. So as you can see, it just has so much nerdy stuff all over the place you know uh oh yeah in case you guys are wondering what's inside of this and i'm not too much in here it's just where i keep more like cables and tools and stuff i don't know if you guys can see it so i have some scissors i have some uh putty that i used to put the posters up some headphones that sort of thing but yeah guys so this is basically my nerd room and i don't know i'm just running out of room to put things but i want to continue to put more more stuff in here because i just love having all these things and i'm always buying stuff you know so yeah guys all right guys and i'm back as i said i feel like the video was just a lot of me just showing off all my stuff and i feel like i was kind of bragging Hopefully it didn't come out like that, and hopefully you guys enjoyed it, you know, because I know I just have so much crap, but hopefully you guys had some fun looking at it, you know? But, uh, yeah, we'll see how long this video ends up being, because I know that there's, like, a lot of footage. I'm checking the recording time right now. We'll see how that goes. But hopefully you guys had fun. Hopefully you guys enjoyed looking at this room where, like I said, I record and I stick most of my nerdy stuff into and stuff. And, yeah, um, that aside, though... It has been three years since I started this YouTube channel and just thinking of like, you know, what that means, you know, thinking of all like the videos I've made, the time I've put into the channel, thinking of you guys and, you know, 
so many of you supporting me along the way and stuff. It's just incredible, you know? So I just want to take the time out to say thank you. And Bojack just fell. That, that's not right. But yeah, I just want to say thank you. I mean, I know I've said it before. I know I say it a lot. I mean, hopefully not like to the point that's annoying. But yeah, I mean, every time I reach some sort of milestone, I just can't keep... I can't stop thinking of you guys. Because without you guys, there would be no channel or no podcast or anything, you know? So I just want to say thank you to you guys. I'm always happy to have this audience that even if it feels small and sometimes I wish that I had, you know, thousands and millions of subscribers and, you know, even, even, even though I wish that sometimes at the same time, it's like, no, you know, I like what I have. It's nice. I like the pace I'm going at because it helps me meet people slowly and interact with them. And yeah, this whole Spooktober event was really fun. I was able to do some crossover, you know, collaborations with some people. That was a lot of fun. And, ah, man, it's just, like I said, guys, it just gives me so much to think about. But it's been an awesome three years. I'm hoping for, you know, many more years on YouTube. And, you know, like I said, just thank you. And I hope you guys will continue to support me and continue to stick around, you know? I've had a ton of fun making these videos. Even though, like, Spooktober was really tiring, it was a lot of fun because I was like, oh man, you know, this year I want to sit down. I want to like, you know, stick to like a theme or whatever. I'm going to do like some collaborations and I'm going to do these videos that have to do with like horror and I'm going to cover all these like, movies, you know, in person or whatever. And I just had a lot of fun and I just hope to, you know, escalate the channel more and more like that and get more people involved and stuff. So I just want to say thank you guys. I really appreciate it. Like I said, I look forward to more on the channel. So here's to the future, here's to hoping that there's many more years on the channel, many more subscribers along the way, and that you guys like, continue to like stick you know, to the channel and stick with me or whatever. And yeah, guys, I just want to say that in the future, even though right now I am a bit burnt out, you know, with the whole Spooktober thing, I do have ideas for more content and you know, like, like new, uh, what do you call it, new series and stuff. You know, I know that recently, you know, I did all this October stuff, which was really new. Uh, I just launched my... Uh, manga reviews where I'm going to hope to cover more manga for those of you who like it and you know there's always like the forget me not where I cover like obscure Wii games and I have all sorts of ideas like that where I want to do more segments on the show you know so hopefully you know I continue to do, go with that and yeah in the future hopefully for like December I'm also hoping to do some giveaways because not only you know hopefully to attract more people because like I said I do want to grow the channel and even if it sounds kind of silly, I do hope to, you know, like do that thing where I can start making money off of the YouTube videos and stuff. So I just not only want to, like, like you know, like grow more people and bring people onto the channel, but also for you guys. Because if I'm doing all these giveaways and stuff, you guys basically have first dibs. And, you know, maybe you guys can win some stuff, like some indie games or like some DVDs or like some artwork and stuff. So, like, look forward to that, you know. But yeah, guys, it has been a tiring month and lots of excitement with all this stuff going on. Like I said, I'm just really happy that I've my YouTube channel is like three years old now. Honestly, I was going to buy a cake, but then all the cakes were really big. And I felt like I was just going to be a fat ass eating the cake by myself. So I decided not to get the cake. But pretend there's a cake right here with candles. I'm making a wish, which is that I continue to have the most awesome supporters in the world. And yeah, I'm going to blow off the cake, you know, whoosh. And I'll see you guys later, you know. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful Halloween. And thank you guys for everything. Love you all. I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.